living things contain DNA, which means scientists can collect DNA from a lot of different types of DNA for experiments. To help scientists know where we can collect DNA from, can you help me identify which of these things have DNA in them? How about this dog? Do you think it has DNA? Correct! A dog is a living thing, so it does contain DNA. How about this flower? Great! Yes, a flower is also living and has DNA. Do you think this car has DNA? A car is made of metal and runs on gasoline. Since it's not living, we would not be able to collect DNA from it. What do you think about this tree? Yup, similar to a flower, a tree is also a plant and is a living thing and has DNA. What about crayons? You got it, crayons are made of wax and paper and do not contain DNA. How about a house? Great job. Houses are not living and contain no DNA. What do you think about scissors? Same as houses, cars, and crayons, scissors are not living and do not contain DNA. Hmm, what about this butterfly? Yep, butterflies are living animals and do have DNA. You're really good at this. You can think about some other things in your house that may contain DNA or not. You guys are quite the scientists. We now know just how big of a difference a small amount of DNA can cause and where to find it. Why do you think it's so important for us to understand DNA in the world around us? Here are just a few ways scientists have used DNA. Because you get your DNA from both your mom and your dad, we can use it to determine where your family comes from. We can also study the DNA of animals to see how they evolved over time, as small changes in DNA can allow animals to adapt to new climates or look very different from one another. Farmers can also study their crops to see what DNA makes vegetables grow larger and even not get diseases. And police officers and detectives can also use it to help solve crimes by studying the DNA that may have been left at a crime scene. There are plenty more, and maybe you'll think of new and exciting ways to use DNA to study the world. You are quite on your way to becoming genetic scientists. You know where DNA comes from? And you also know how scientists can study DNA to learn new things about our world. Thank you for watching this episode of Genomics 101 at Home. Keep an eye out for future episodes to learn more about DNA and the science of genomics. <laughs>